and welcome to Seasonal Job Pro. On this channel, we try to help seasonal workers to make a home in the seasonal employment industry. So today we're talking about housing. So let's get to work. Finding a seasonal job is fairly easy, especially if you don't care where or what that job is. Then it's really easy. But to get the most out of seasonal jobs, you'll probably want to have at least an idea of what kind of work you'll want to do, how much you can make, and of course, where you will live. And finding a place to live can be one of the most difficult and annoying things to deal with. So in this video, we are going to explore some of the different types of housing offered by seasonal employers and what you might expect. Some housing is free, most is not. Some is pretty great, and some, well, not so much. First type of housing available is none. Some places don't offer housing, which means you got a job, you move to that town, and are expected to find a place to live. Some employers will have contacts and friends in the area they can hook you up with to make it slightly easier. But for the most part, you will have to go through the same practices as any other schmo who moves to that town to find a job. You'll probably be paying rent rates that are average for the local area, which is probably pretty high. And you'll probably need roommates. The upside is that since your housing isn't tied to the company, so if you decide to find a different job, you won't need to find another place to live. Next up, free housing. Free housing is on a whole pretty rare. Free housing is most commonly found at summer camps, ranches, some guiding companies, and very remote locations. Typically, if the job is in the middle of nowhere, and you wouldn't be able to find anywhere else to live, even if you wanted to, they'll probably offer free housing. There's a pretty good chance this will just be a space for you to set up a tent. If it's a summer camp, it might be a nice canvas-walled tent that's already there. Or you might find yourself with a bunk in a cabin you share with a few other people. The other type of free housing is where the company will charge you a nominal rent and then return that rent back to you when you finish your agreed-upon contract. So it's kind of like a nice bonus at the end of the season, which is great, especially if you're not very good at saving money. And assuming you don't trash the place, shared housing. Shared housing is just what it sounds like. You got roommates. They might snore. They might get up early. They may stay up late. They might fart in their sleep. And you will get to experience all this because you will probably be sharing a room. You may share a room with just one person or more than a few. There's a chance you will have a bathroom for just the people you share a room with, or there will be multiple bathrooms down the hall that you share with everyone else as well. It's very much like staying in a backpacker's hostel. This kind of housing will usually average $400 to $600 a month, but expect to pay more than that if you are at a ski resort. Single family housing. Single-family housing is basically a private home or apartment for you, the employee, and their family. This is almost exclusively for management jobs and the year-round staff. So don't expect this option unless you're one of the bosses. Pets. Pets aren't usually allowed in most employee housing situations, although some places will allow it. Ranch jobs are your best bet if you're hoping to bring your pooch to a seasonal job. You can probably bring a horse, too, if you wanted. Of course, if you are renting your own place outside of the company, then you can probably bring your pets, depending on the terms and conditions of your rental agreement. That's going to be between you and your landlord. Finding employee housing isn't always easy, and when you do find it, it isn't always that great. Sometimes it is great, and sometimes it's downright awful. Much of the time, the staff housing directly reflects the type of company you are working for. A company that holds its staff in high regard will usually provide, or at least help, to find suitable quality housing for its staff. 
it makes sense that if you want to have happy, positive employees that work well and are productive for your business, you provide a safe and comfortable place for your staff to relax and get a good night's rest. Unfortunately, this isn't always the case. And like we always say here at Seasonal Job Pro, it's important to do your research and read employee reviews on places like Glassdoor to get an idea of what other people's experiences were like. And of course, please let us know in the comments your experiences as a Seasonal Job Pro and help spread the word. So that's a very quick look at some of the housing options that may be out there. So always do your research and thanks for watching. Seasonal Job Pro.